Welcome to this video. My name is Lenny, a software developer with over seven years experience working on commercial Django projects. In this video, we are going to look into Django prefetch related and Django select related. You'll see how we can use these tools to make our code faster, execute faster, and also to make it uh, more readable to anyone who is uh, maintaining our code or even ourselves later. Let's get started. We're going to start with select related. Select related uh, allows you to specify which fields you want to be selected in the current query that you're running. So you can specify foreign key relationships and one-to-one -one relationships. Uh, in the query that you want to be executed. We are going to look at this in just a moment. So the query that is executed will be more complex, but it will fetch the extra fields in one go. So when you later look up the same fields, Django would hit the DB to fetch the uh, objects that are related. Let's start by looking at the project that we are going to use. So this is the project here. Uh, this is the top level uh, project folder. This is the this is the folder that is created when you run Django start project. Uh, I have one app here which I created using the start project, and I have a this is the Python package of the project. Oh. Let's look at the models here. So we have a launch model. It has a date, a name, a rocket, which is a foreign key, a crew, which is a mini to mini field, a launch pad, which is a, mini, a foreign key. We also have a rocket model, which has a name, a core, which is a foreign key. Uh, we have a core, which has a serial number. We have a crew, which has a name, and launch pad, which has a name. Uh, of interest to us is also the settings, the project. So I want to draw your attention to loggers here. Uh, I've added this logger, django.db.backends, and set the level to debug. This will allow us to this will allow us to see the SQL statements that Django is executing. So here in the admin, I've set up the, the launch mod, the launch application. So you can see the models right here. Of interest to us is the launches. I have two of them here. Uh, so let's take for example, I want to fetch this from the DB, this launch ID2, and print the name of the rocket and maybe the name of the launch pad. Um, let's have a look at that um, in our shell. So we've fetched our launch, you can see the SQL statement that was executed. Now let's print the name of the rocket. Okay, so <coughs> you can see here, another SQL statement was executed uh, to fetch the rocket. Let's try for launch pad. So you see again, another SQL statement was executed. What if we wanted to uh, print the name of the core on the rocket, the serial number of the core? <coughs> so 
So you see again another SQL statement is executed. Now let's add them to a okay um let's let's see how we can make this better. So we'll use the select related, we'll specify that we want Django to select for us the rocket and also the launch pad from the very beginning. Let's try that. Sorry, select related. Okay, so here I'm specifying that Django should fetch the rocket and the core that's related to that rocket using this underscore here, telling it to follow that relationship and the launch pad. So let's see the effect now. So looking at the SQL statement here, you see it's more complex. Uh, so it's fetching the, it's using um, a join to fetch the rocket and another join to fetch the launch pad and here also another join to fetch the core of the rocket so now let's try and print the same statements again you see now this time there was no query to the db to print the serial it was fetched in one go also for the launch pad the same you can see there was no query to the db to fetch the launch pad when we needed to fetch the name okay, let's have this in a for loop in order to see all the let's say we want to print all the uh, the names of all the launches the launch pad name the rocket name and the core name um, of all the launches that we have let's just clear here Uh, let's have a follow. We'll start by a normal query without the select related. Okay, so <clears throat> to just run these three lines of code, uh, we see how many select statements were run, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, the DB was hit seven times just to run those three lines of code. So, and these are only two objects. I only have two launches in the DB. Now you can imagine your project has been running for two years. You have over a thousand launches. Uh, you have so many rockets, so many <coughs> cores in your DB. This will be a performance hit. Over time, you will find your system slowing down. So you can use select related to speed this up. Let's see what we could have done better here. It's basically the same thing we had done. We tell Django we want it to fetch the rocket and the related core in one soup and also the launch pad in one fell soup.
So we have <coughs> only one query made. It's a lot more complex, but it fetches everything in one go. So this is definitely a performance booster for your project. So again, we see here, it fetches the launch, the fields for the launch. It uses an, it uses a join to fetch the rocket and another join to fetch the core. And yet another join to fetch the launch pad. Okay, so next we are going to look at prefetch related. Okay, so Django's prefetch related is similar to select related in that it allows you to specify the fields that you want fetched by Django in a single batch. Uh, but the difference is that select related creates uh, an SQL join and does it in one go. But prefetch related is a bit different in that it specifies, uh, it fetches the, the fields that you've specified in separate queries, and then it does the joining in Python. Uh, the advantage you'll get here is that uh, when you later access the fields, they're already available. You don't get the, deb the, the DB hit at that point. It was already done earlier. Uh, so you can use this with fields that you can't use with select related. Many to many fields, many to one, and uh, generic relations and foreign key. So let's have a look at this practically. Now, let's say you want to print all the names of all the crew members in all the launches. So let's have a look at that and then see how prefetch related would have been helpful. Okay, so here we see two select statements, the first fetching the, the launch um, and then the second one fetches the, the crew. So it's printed for the first, then it's fetched for the second, the crew for the second launch are fetched. So here, let's say you did some activity after each um, after each fetch, uh, right here, so I'm referring to here. Let's say here, you did some activity here. So the second, uh, the second query would be executed only after that activity happens. So let's see how the prefetch related would help us here. Okay, so here you can see that uh, there's one less uh, select that was done than here. So it fetches the launches and then it fetches the, the crew that relate, that relate to each of those launches. So now here when we are printing our crew names, uh, you can see no query is made, unlike here, which on the second, uh, on the second launch, when accessing the crew for the second launch, it, it runs another select statement to fetch the crew again. So here they are fetched, they are joined in Python, so they are available for us when we are working on them. Okay, so with prefetch related, you need to be careful since um, the cache data only applies for uh, this specific uh, dot all. So, uh, for example, if I did something like this, let's just see it practically. So, 
So here I suddenly decide that I only want the first crew of the I only want to print the name of the first crew. Okay, so here you see uh, the first select fetches the the launch. Uh, the second one fetches the the crew that relate to each. But still, I still get these two uh, select statements here uh, that fetch the the first crew in each case. So the prefetch related didn't really help me at all. So why did that happen? Because remember. This is a separate query, a, a, a separate query set, sorry. So the first query set that I ran here is actually discarded. So in this case, it's actually, it actually has performance to use prefetch related. So you need to take, take that into account. So study the code you're writing, then see if prefetch related really helps you in that case. Okay, so that's all for select related and prefetch related. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the documentation. You can read more about it. See you in the next video.